am here right now with Broadway star Rex Smith. Well, Are among you among other things? Among other things, because yes, you do short, a lot of things. The short thing is a hard rocker, teen idol, superhero, primetime, daytime Broadway movie star. So I'm the original Daredevil. I had a TV show, Street Hawk, you know, catching bad guys 300 miles an hour on the thing, six Broadway shows. Six albums on Columbia Records, signed when I was 20 years old, gold and platinum on the wall. That's just to get us up to speed. Wow, that's fantastic. It's been a great, it's been a great journey. And this year, what what is your mission this year? This year is, I have, you know what, I've made it through 40, I mean, I signed with Columbia 47 years ago was when I signed with Columbia Records. So let's call that my professional start. I got five grown, well, my last daughter is at Berkeley, a chemistry undergrad, and I'm, I got two grandchildren, and I'm enjoying life and traveling, and, you know, a little bit, uh, Hollywood can live without me for a moment, and, uh, you know, I, I have, uh, people say, do you have F you money? I go, I have don't F me money. <laughs> I have that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so just let me enjoy my life, you know. Right, okay, and I also like to travel. I've been to about 156 countries, and I'm going to ask you, since you're now living the life, going around and about, where have you been lately that blew your mind? Well, I just did seven concerts in the Philippines. In the Philippines, I'm very popular with uh, my music, and so I just got back from a concert tour three weeks ago. So I was down for all two and a half weeks. Were you in Manila or Port-au-Prince? Manila and Cebu, you know, and uh, various places. I played, um, you know, 20 years ago I was headlining at Araneta Coliseum. As time goes by and stuff, the music lives on. And they have these tremendous casinos and you, you do sort of sit downs, you know, three nights, four nights at a casino. Beautiful stages and settings. David Foster was following me. At Solaire, this place I was at, he was the next coming in. So there it is. Um, uh, yeah, so I am still traveling, yes. still participating in this world. Yes. But I try. I, I like to say I have don't f me money. Yeah, he's a great philanthropist. I'm going to see him at Celebrity Fight Night yeah. next week in Arizona. But let me ask you: Did you know that these Filipino people? can copy your voice and they do it better than anybody it's, it's, in the world have the you most, heard this it's the most musical nation on earth well, you ask, you you go into the tiniest bar and they're doing journey better than journey yeah. okay yeah. and and you you ask a musician what do you play he goes i play bassoon uh, piano lead guitar and uh tuba yeah you or know oboe. when i was a kid clarinet yeah, or, yeah. Or, uh, or slide whistle. I'm sorry. That explains it. I always wondered why that phenomenon yeah. take, yeah. takes place. Thank you for that. Oh, uh, yeah. This All right. Fun. Well, it's been a great pleasure, Rex. It's a cheap form of therapy. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> I recommend you to all my friends. <laughs> Thanks. I think I think you're great. I don't think you need it. But have a great time at Thank the party. All Star right. Dogs. All right. Have fun. Let's all go. right. Hi, I'm here with Michael Patrick Lane, and we're going to talk a little bit about Blumhouse, cryptocurrency, and of course, he is on the new Dynasty. So great to have you here tonight. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here and so excited for everything that you all are doing. Yeah. How about Blumhouse? Oh How's my gosh. Going? It's been amazing. Um, Unseen comes out MGM Plus in May and right now it's being distributed by Paramount. And we are doing great. LA Times just gave us a great review and it's been an honor to be part of such a successful movie. Sounds wonderful to me. What about Dynasty? How's that doing? Uh, Dynasty we just wrapped on and it was a great series and um, yeah I couldn't be happier to, to be streaming on Netflix Paramount Plus right now and now MGM Plus with Unseen Wow, so that's, it's going well that's fantastic now this is a crypto party for absolutely. celebrities of course star dogs did I say that right absolutely you did okay do you have any crypto? Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, most of it's in my Exodus wallet right now. I got a Ledger wallet. Make sure to store your own cryptocurrency. And I would imagine that the bear market is over and we've just gone to a bull. Wow. Do you trade your own? I absolutely trade my own. Yeah. How's that going for you? That's going really well. Yeah, I love the technical analysis side. And the man behind me you'll interview next um, is a major NFT guy. Okay, well. 
I do not trade my own, but it is going up. So for that, I am very pleased. And it goes up pretty fast, too. Knuckles. Who knew, right? That's volatile. Yeah. Why do you think people don't invest in crypto? Well, I mean, it's a newer technology, and I would imagine a lot of people don't know how to utilize the blockchain quite yet, and why would you? But that's why it's up to other innovators to show us how to create more use case so that it'll help improve the lives of so many people around the world. All right, well, we're going to learn about more crypto. Thank you so much. You're this so is so welcome. much fun. It's All fun. right, have a great night. You too. Hey, I'm here with Ariel Racing, Racing and Luke. Peterson. Yep. All right. Why don't you guys just get the same last name for Pete's sake? Working on it. <laughs> Working on her, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Good, good, good. I like that. All right. So you have got a new technology. She's an actress, obviously. You can tell how beautiful. Well, let's start with you. Tell me about the movie that's coming out. Um, it's a horror film. It got shot seven years ago, actually, and it's finally getting, well, it's done now. It was in litigation. Then COVID hit, and now it's coming out. Wow. Yeah. It's called Killer Goats. I'm the lead. There's goats in it. Kane Hodder's in it. Yeah. I love goats. Do you love goats? I don't know. They're kind of scary. They're a little dead in the eyes, I would say. No, I think they're so pretty. Yeah. I think goats are pretty. I've seen goats all around the world. I love goats. Okay. Well, they're then you beautiful. Might like this movie. I might. Yeah. Except for I don't like horror movies. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really positive. I like to keep, keep it all flowing positive. But just for the goats, I might watch it. Yeah. Just for you and the goats. Thank you. All right. And tell me about your technology, this platform. Uh, so yeah, we started a technology through a spatial computing studio, which is basically okay. how do computers understand the world around us. And we've made a web-based 3D holographic video technology company, which allows people to record a video in a new way and then deliver it over the web. So it's actually 3D video, it's immersive, and it's really relevant to NFT uh, marketplace. So it's like very personal concerts or comedy shows or strip teases or whatever it is you want it to be ah whatever you want it to be okay well i'd like to see it how do you see it so uh her platform is called real af and my spatial computing studio is called lily studios and how do you get there real af dot app real af dot app and then you can look people up and see their little productions yeah. yes you can place them anywhere. Yeah. Can I do it? Yeah, you can do it. We can have you in the studio. We can have you in the studio. Okay, I get to do the darndest things. I love that. Okay, well, thank you. I, I wish you guys a ton of fun tonight. Thank you. And do you invest in crypto? I actually do, yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. It's been going up. I do $10 a week. <laughs> okay, good. Good steady, girl. Steady, steady. Yeah, steady and consistent. That's really smart. Okay. Uh, I've, I have invested in crypto. I started a crypto technology with uh, Ethereum in 2018, so sort of been a little bit ahead of the curve. But since then, I've kind of exited and trying to focus on building technologies that support it. Well, that's one of the good coins, no question about it. At least historically, is it still good? Yeah, I mean, it has utility, which is one of the few, in my opinion. Well, I'm not going to claim to know a lot about crypto, but I do make money in it. But I also don't choose my investments for myself because I wouldn't know how to do that. But good luck. Okay. I love Thank that. You. Instagram, you want to throw oh, yeah. one out there? The Ariel Ray. Um, and then my Twitter's Ariel Racing. I'm not big on social, so don't worry about it. <laughs> no, he's too busy making money. Okay. All right. Thank you. You know what I always say? Suffering is optional. And life is what you make it.